Hello and thank you for attending this edition of our 2020 Fall Seed Meeting. I'm David Garrett and I'm one of the sales managers here at Agrimax. For your safety, as you can see, we are coming to you virtually. Each crop has been covered in its own individual recording and today we will be covering soybeans. Our focus has always been and will continue to be to bring you new and updated information. This allows you, our valued customer, the opportunity to use this information to increase your farm profits. I hope you enjoy the following presentation and thank you for viewing. Please take the time to go to the Agrimax website at www.agrimaxllc.com. Click on the research tab. Once in the research tab, to the right of the 2020 research plots, under soybeans, click on the all soybean data and print off to follow along if you wish. Welcome aboard, here we go. We're going to review old and new varieties that sales staff believe will increase profits on your farm. Before diving into the varieties, you will need to decide what modern technology best suits you and your farm. They all have their pros and cons, and I will try to help you understand each so you can make the best decision. First off, we have the Liberty GT27 technology. It allows the ability to apply Roundup or Liberty of the soybeans for post-emergent weed control. The last couple of years, this technology has provided some of the highest yielding soybeans in our lineup. It also has provided resistance to carryover damage from group 27 herbicides, such as Armazon, Impact, or Lotus used in corn. You have the option to control Roundup resistant weeds with Liberty. However, Liberty requires large volumes of water, sunshine, and warm weather to be completely effective. Roundup nor Liberty provide any residual control of weeds without adding another product. There also remains the worry of a neighboring crop sprayed with 2,4-D or dicamba causing damage to your soybeans. Under this GT27 platform, let's take a look at this first variety from Stein, O3GA03. It's a medium structured plant that will work with all row spacings. It has an average IDC rating and would benefit from an infero EDHA iron application. EDHA iron are such products as soy green or feruline. It does not fit the cyst acre because it does not have cyst resistance. It carries a familiar 1C gene for Phytophthora root rot. And for two years now, this soybean yields. Crudans 0419 is a medium height plant. It's also bushy, so it's well suited for wide rows. It has a very good defensive package hosting a cyst resistant trait and 1C for Phytophthora root rot. This soybean was a plot winner in 2019. One thing to take note of with this variety is it acts like an 06 maturity plant and this year was damaged by the extremely early frost. So place it where you can handle an 06 soybean. Second, we'll take a look at the Extend technology. It allows the ability to apply Roundup and or a labeled dicamba product to the soybeans for post herbicide weed control. This technology has provided some of the best iron deficient chlorosis tolerance paired with high yielding soybeans. The labeled dicamba products allow you the option to control Roundup resistant weeds and provide up to two weeks residual weed control without adding any additional products. Dicamba provides improved kosher control over 2,4-D in those high problem kosher areas of North Dakota. There is some peace of mind that if all your neighbors are planting dicamba, you should potentially not see a reduction with an off-target application from them. Some cons also exist, and you do need to be concerned if all your neighbors are planting enlist soybeans. That's off-target application of Liberty or 2,4-D choline could potentially damage your soybeans. We will now have a June 30th application deadline at maximum, but we are uncertain of each, what each state will further limit us. You will also need a biennial training license to apply the dicamba labeled products. Now we'll take a look at some of the varieties under this platform. The Extend platform offers us the most choices for a variety lineup that Agrimax offers. I'll start with the early day products and finish with the late. 
This first soybean in our lineup is LGS 00663RX. It's a thin line, medium height plant that adapts well to varying soil types. It holds its height in stressed environments. You can see that it performs well in all row spacings by its performance in the Agrimax wide row plots. Its defensive characteristics of cyst tolerance, very good IDC tolerance, and 1C for Phytophthora aids in this 663's performance in the early day varieties. Dynagross S009XT68 is an early 009 maturity soybean with medium tall height and upright branching plant that is ideal for narrow rows. This variety offers great offensive performance on light textured soils. It does not have the cyst trait and offers only a good IDC tolerance, so keep it off of the heavy soils. Ray's RX0228 history speaks for itself. This is the best IDC tolerant soybean Agrimax offers, along with cyst resistance and the 1C for Phytophthora. It's a medium bushy structured plant with medium tall height, make it suitable for all row widths. This would be my best in-class suggestion for tough fields. Dynagros 03XT29 Extend Soybean has a very defensive package made up of a cyst resistance, 1C for Phytophthora, and very good white mold tolerance. Its medium plant height with moderately bushy structure give it the potential for excellent harvestability. Its excellent 7.4 IDC rating gives it strong tolerance to stress and allows for use across all soils east to west. A top 10 performance in Agrimax's two-year plot data make 03XT29 a soybean for you to place on your farm. LG's 0355s are a bushy, medium-height soybean, making it best suited for wide rows. Here again, a great defensive package, including excellent IDC tolerance, cyst resistance, and 1C for Phytophthora. This soybean has a history of great performance by its fifth overall yield in Agrimax's two-year plot data. Also for LG seeds, we have 0400s. They offer more offensive yield potential than 355s under less IDC and prolonged soils. It has a solid resistance assist in Phytophthora and fair tolerance to IDC. Its top 10 performance on the two-year Agrimax soybean data speaks to its potential. Just to improve on our great mid-maturity lineup, we at Agrimax have two new varieties here we're excited to talk about. First is Ray's 0411s, which strive to increase yield while maintaining it with cyst resistance, 1C gene for Phytophthora, and very good IDC tolerance. This is a very tall plant that lends itself well to our heavier soil types. Demand has been high and we're currently sold out of this variety. The second new variety we're excited about is NK's SO4Q7X. It was a top third Agrimax plot yielder in 2020. It's a medium bushy plant with tall height to help on our heavier soil types. It too has cyst resistance, 1C gene for Phytophthora, and a very good IDC score. We currently have inventory of this product and look for it to be a great addition to our lineup. Moving on to an oldie, but a goodie. 0628s have been our go-to on heavy textured soils for many years. It's a big, branchy, tall plant, best suited for wide rows with an excellent defensive package and great yield potential. The reason I like to talk about this variety is today, it's still one of our best tough soil offerings in an 06 maturity. To round out our Extend soybean lineup, this year's plot winner, 0721 is an interesting soybean. In our Agrimax IDC trials at Fisher, I rated it a 5.2, which makes it average, but it recovered well and yielded good at 13th out of 75 varieties. When I look at Goose's IDC trials, he rated it excellent. I wouldn't place this variety on your toughest ground, but I feel it will handle most soils very well. It has a defensive package with cyst resistance, 1C gene, and very good white mold and brown stem rot tolerance. 
This soybean has the right to be placed on our later maturity farms. Thirdly, we're going to take a look at the Enlist E3 technology. It allows you the ability to apply Roundup, Liberty and or 2,4-D choline to the soybeans for post-emergent weed control. This technology is quickly proving to provide high yielding soybean varieties but is more limited by IDC tolerance. It also has provided a resistance to carryover damage from group 27s used in corn two year soybeans. You have the option to control Roundup resistant weeds with Liberty and or 2,4-D choline. Roundup and Liberty and 2,4-D choline provide little if any residual weed control without adding another product. There also remains the worry of a neighboring crop sprayed with dicamba labeled products causing damage to your soybeans. Next, we'll take a look at some of these varietal choices. 003 EB62 is the earliest in less soybean of our lineup. It offers good IDC tolerance along with the cyst resistant and 1A gene for Phytophthora. It's a main stem plant best suited for high populations and narrow rows. New to the lineup, Integras 40129 is an early enlist product with high yield potential. It performs in narrow and wide rows and has a very good IDC rating. A watch out for this variety is no cyst gene. Its medium structure and medium tall height make it a pleasure to harvest even in heavier soil. In the 03 lineup, we have a couple different choices in the list platform. I want to go through both of them because they have different fits, even though their plant structure is similar to one another. EA03 does well on heavy and light soils, and EB02 prefers the light soils only. If you have a history of cyst and lighter soil, 03 EB02 is for you. If your problem is Phytophthora, 03 EA03 is best suited for you as it has the 3A gene. Both varieties may benefit from an infra application of iron. New to the lineup is 40511 from Integra. It has excellent IDC. It's the first enlist soybean I would suggest as a close replacement to 0228s if you are switching to the Enlist platform. It's a bushy, medium tall plant targeted for IDC prone soils. However, it does not have cyst resistance or a gene for Phytophthora. If you do not have cyst or Phytophthora and tough IDC prone soils, this Enlist soybean is for you. Lastly, for our Enlist platform, we introduce 05 EA23s. This soybean is a top performing variety in our two year summary data. It has a tremendous yield potential backed up by cyst resistance and 3A for Phytophthora. It offers only a good IDC rating and it would benefit from an infro application of iron on tougher soils. This soybean has earned a spot on your farm if you are attempting to achieve top end yields in the Enlist platform. The fourth and final platform we're going to take a look at today is the newest, Extend Flex. It allows you the ability to apply Roundup, Liberty, and or a dicamba labeled product to the soybeans for post-emergent weed control. This technology is new and the varieties are yet to be proven. All the pros and cons are very similar to the Extend platform, with the exception of it now adds Liberty resistance to the soybean. We have not tested any Extend Flex varieties in our plots. However, I would like to introduce a couple varieties on the upper edge of our maturity range. First, LG Seeds 0701 is a medium width, medium plant height with good stress tolerance. It's a very defensive variety hosting cyst resistance, 3A gene, and above average IDC rating it also has resistance to brown stem rot and stem canker. This is an exciting new technology we will keep an eye on. Second, Ray has a variety 0831. It's similar plant structure to the LG07 and also includes a defensive package. In addition, 0831 offers a stacked 1C 
and 3A gene for added for top for protection. We are looking forward to seeing this technology in the field and how these varieties perform. This is the first page of our 2020 soybean summary ranked by yield. All the varieties in yellow were discussed previously and you can review them on your time. This is the second page of the soybean summary yield. Here I've displayed the two year soybean summary by yield. Again, I've highlighted the varieties we previously discussed. Along with these forms, you will find IDC rankings, maturity date rankings, and each individual plot. You may notice our plot in Crookston was excluded from the final summary data. This plot was damaged by dicamba and the data has become unusable for us. You will notice that is why the extend varieties all rose to the top of that trial. As you are aware, I've touched on a few of the varietal options in a wide maturity range for each technology. We have chosen to partner with all these suppliers to give you the best fit for your acres. At Agrimax, we're always striving to increase your farm profits. We have formulated a program to help transition with success to the Stein and List soybeans, if they best suit your farm needs. The program gives you a rebate for $2 per unit on Stein and List soybeans when paired with an inferro form of EDHA iron, also with a $2 per acre rebate. So if you plant 175,000 seeds per acre, that equates to $2.50 per acre on the seed and $2 an acre on the iron for a potential total rebate of $4.50. If your soil has a history of iron deficiency chlorosis, this inferro iron can allow your lower rated IDC tolerant enlist soybeans to perform at their top yield potential. If you feel this program is of importance to you, please talk to one of the Agrimax sales staff to get signed up or learn more about it. We saw a need and strove to help you solve it. Only because this fall was dry am I posting this. Please remember, soil is meant for seed, not machinery. Thank you for attending our first annual virtual seed meeting. Please take the time to call any of the sales staff for any questions about the varieties and the iron pair-up program. They're here for you so you can make more knowledgeable and profitable seed decision. Thank you again for all your past business. Without you, we wouldn't be here to provide this service. Thank you.